everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to uh, share with you Your Physique 1950 with Len Barker, Tarzan of the movies um, back in the late 40s and early 50s, and Val Neald, the absolutely gorgeous um, female model from the late 40s who was constantly being uh, featured in the Waiter magazines. Um, now this particular magazine, I have to admit, is uh, very historic because within we will see the fer very first story on Reg Park and that is when Joe Waiter actually met Reg Park and of course who couldn't be impressed with a 21 year old Reg Park. Now I recently did a video on um, Reg Park's transformation. Uh, recently uh, started a, a series on the blueprint to Reg Park where I've just talked about his first few years of, of bodybuilding uh, which will be followed on by his um, progressive resistance routine um, that um, he used to build up his physique to actually win Mr. Britain and that's coming up very soon. But um, I really wanted to share um, some of the articles from this magazine with you just so you can have a look. Of course you guys don't have access to these um, kinds of magazines which are very hard to find nowadays. Besides going through all the ads, I mean, there's a great shot here of, of Steve Reeves that I think you'd like to see. He's actually in front of this water fountain, fountain doing a beautiful, beautiful pose, which I may post on my Patreon account actually very soon, so that you can all share um, if you wish to become a patron. I'm constantly uploading these awesome photos that I find. Um, right. So the first article which I found very interesting was My Method of Bicep Specialization by Alan Steffen, um, which mainly features the routine which I covered recently on, on uh, how Alan would prepare for the strict bicep curl competition. Um, and the, uh, there are the exercises that, uh, that I mentioned in my video. And what I love is the double bicep shots you get of Ed Theriault, uh, you get also of Reg Park here, some really nice photos. Again, these I may I might um, upload onto my Patreon account. They are rare shots, and I love sharing these shots. Um, now, making champions is a really good, a really good article by Floyd Page because it really um, recommends what is recommended for many beginners, and that is to train full body a full body workout of about ten to fifteen exercises only, um, and initially. <clears throat> If, if you are ever going to start bodybuilding and want to train the silver era method, I really should do a video on this, but almost every single champion that I've read of, be it Steve Reeves, uh, Reg Park, or Floyd Page, or, or be it the Waiter Boys or the York Barbell Boys, they all said the same thing, train about 10 to 15 exercises, and for the first month only, just do one set per exercise, uh, and do the, three, uh, the full body training routine just three times a week focusing on each set being about 8 to 12 reps. Um, everybody said it, and it's the best way for beginners to start off with, um, as recommended by all the Silver Era champs. Another great shot there of Abe Goldberg. Now, this is, um, a, a, I think I might have to do an article on this. This is the incline bench uh, that um, was developed, by the way, by Clancy Ross. This is according to Wader, but... Clancy Ross really fancied the incline bench back in the silver era and he uh, developed a lot of exercises that um, he enjoyed training on and, and this is really good ex uh, a really good article I think I might have to do a separate video on it but you can see that there's all sorts of exercises um, described here basically like uh, things like the incline bench um, wide dumbbell press the close dumbbell press uh, for the triceps instead the barbell press, of course, uh, the pullover, pullover, wow, pullover, there it is, with on the uh, incline bench, the fly, uh, etc. I mean, there's just so many. The half circle, that's a really lost exercise as well, the half circles. So there's many exercises that one can do on the incline bench. And Clancy Ross was a big, big, big advocate of using the incline bench. So I might take, as I said, I might do a separate uh, video on this just to show you. Uh, because I, I have to agree with Clancy, so many people just use the incline uh, press for doing curls and dumbbell presses. Barely anyone knows the full variety of exercises you can do using the incline bench. So I definitely think I should do an, an ex a, um, a separate 
video on this. Now, this is a really interesting article, not because I'm interested in the psychology of sex, but mainly because of the feature on Vince Gironda. It's the very first photo I recall ever seeing in your physique of Vince Gironda. And there he is showing his phenomenal aesthetics. I know he didn't have the biggest muscles, but that doesn't matter. It's all about aesthetics. And he had a phenomenal V taper as displayed in this wonderful show, uh, photo. So yeah, that's uh, Vince Gironda in his early days. He had just started, I think, uh, he just opened his gym actually at that time. Now, here's a really um, great, great article on forearm training. And I think this information I may include in the booklet to come soon with uh, that I'm writing with Tom Cunningham. I know a lot of you liked that video on, on forearm exercises and the idea of writing a booklet. And here's another excellent uh, article written by uh, David Willoughby, who I've really come to respect recently. I mean, he's, he's an excellent author. I wish he would have written more books. It's on waistline development. Again, some awesome shots here. Of uh, Here we have Fred Mazzaro, Steve Reeves, Abe Goldberg, who is demonstrating all the exercises. Um, might be an interesting one for me to uh, talk about again in a separate video. Now, here's a bodybuilder I'd love to feature, and that is um, uh, Bob McCune, who uh, is supposed to be able to bench press, according to this article, 400 pounds. And, and I mean, I can believe that looking at his absolutely Herculean physique. Just check it out. I mean, damn, this guy's massive. He's huge. Maybe I've zoomed in too much. Oop, there we go. Bob McCune. Look at that. Damn, that guy's massive. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm sure he was doing the 20 rep squats. Pretty sure. Let me zoom back in a bit. There we go. Now, this is the article that I was talking about. Um, let me just straighten the camera a bit. That's better. When Joe Wader uh, met Reg Park, Reg Park had actually arrived in, um, in the U.S., to meet up with some friends, I forget where exactly, but um, he had just won Mr. Britain in 1949, and at 21 years of age, he already had a 51 inch chest, shoulders that were 24 inches across, almost as big as his waist for God's sake, and 18 and a half inch arms, I mean his forearms were also massive at 14 inches, and Barton Horvath described seeing him for the first time I mean, and, and in this article, and they were just completely impressed at him, at his hugeness, and at his wonderful V taper, and of course his wonderful personality. Um, and they basically just kept comparing him to Steve Reeves, and to and Reg Park talks about it in this interview that he was so frustrated because as he walked around the U.S., especially in the airport, even the custom officers thought he was Reg, he was uh, he was Steve Reeves, and he had to kept answering, "No, I'm not Steve Reeves." So he actually got a bit pissed off at that. Um, but yeah, it was Joe Wader who picked him up from the airport and apparently took him to Sig Klein's gym. Wow, what, what a phenomenal experience for Reg Park. And Klein gasped, apparently, saying, Damn, this is, you know, gosh, this must be the guy that John Grimmick told me about. Because apparently John Grimmick had already met Reg Park or seen photos of him or something. And yeah, the, the, the interview continues. So I will do a separate video on Reg Park, as I mentioned earlier, on his uh, second routine, which is obviously more productive after he fixed his his knee after the injury I mentioned early on in his career, where he was going to be a football star. Um, he moved to bodybuilding, and as I already mentioned, his first bodybuilding routine in a separate video. I'm not going to talk about it here, but I will, uh, as, I, as I said, move on to a next video where I talk about the beginnings of the 5x5 five five routine as developed by Reg Park and um, his second bodybuilding routine, which he used to develop his phenomenal physique. Uh, and the last article is on Tarzan and how everybody basically wants Val Neal to be the next Jane, right? Um, everybody was uh, raving about how beautiful she was, and of course she was. And uh, yeah, that's the last article in this magazine. I thought I'd share it with you from 1950, March 1950. 
Yeah, some pretty cool articles in this one. And what I love the most is the beginning of Reg Park. From here on, your physique really does start focusing a lot on Reg Park. And so I am going to start bringing you some new videos. As I said, it's a new series on Reg Park, on the early years of Reg Park, uh, before he won the universe, and all the courses that, and all the um, uh, routines that he did of course to build up to the universe hope you've enjoyed watching the video if you have please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't to the golden era bookworm uh, leave me your comments and thank you again for watching uh, just a reminder if you'd like to donate just use paypal my details are always given below the description of the video um, alternatively if you'd like to support me you can go on patreon become a patron where you have access again to all these wonderful photos articles some articles and um, some rare to find books um, and you can and if you want to find specific courses from the silver and bronze era you can go to my uh, website golden era bookworm.wixsite.com i think it is um, is it .com or .org? Uh, I have to check. Uh, it's going to be in the description below anyway, forward slash website, where I've uploaded for now uh, the cable courses, the strand pulling courses, uh, as developed by Eugene Sandow for tendon and ligament strength. And up and now our recent arrival was the Reg Park How to Build Your Arms course. Um, there will be many other courses uploaded in the given time. Anyway, that's it for me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.